Last time on Total Drama All Stars, Gwen found out that Courtney got kissy with Scott and Cameron. And their on again, off again friendship went way off. Alejandro hit a DVD of Mike's bad behavior somewhere beyond the range of my cameras. Oh, that handsome weasel. And the final six ran the brutal obstacle kill course and proved that the old saying is true whatever doesn't kill you makes you really, really sore. <laughs> the winner? Zoe, thanks to Mike. Or was it Mal? <laughs> Seriously, who was it? I can't tell those guys apart. The flushy? Definitely Alejandro. Adios, Alejerko! Only five players remain. Who will live to play another day? And who will go sightseeing in Sewer City via the dreaded flush of shame? Find out right here, right now, on Total Drama All-Stars! Car zoom? Oh. just helping to water the plants and I dropped one against the wall so <laughs> I thought Mike was back in control but lately he's as weird as weird gets Ugh. I just wish I could see inside his head <laughs> not literally that would be gross Alejandro has incriminating footage of me on a DVD and hid it somewhere in the hotel he said it's in the art but how can anyone tell which piece has been tampered with when it's all so hideous? I also know Zoe's getting suspicious. That could be a problem, especially with Mike on the loose in my head. His head, our head, whatever. He won't be able to hide from me much longer. I think Mal is getting weaker. <laughs> so am I. I gotta sit down. CTE is going after victory. Who asked you, comrade? <laughs> what the heck? Hey, yo, finally an audience. <laughs> yo, Dominic, I hear your dog has no nose. How does he smell? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> ah, genius! <laughs> Give him a nickel! Come on, Vito! Ditch the dummy and join us! We need you if we're gonna defeat Mal! Defeat Mal? Not possible! Wow! Vito's kid is hilarious! Uh, I, I, I didn't say nothing! So who did? Me! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Whoa, uh, yes, yeah, sure! Well, wait up! Attention, punching bags! Please gather in the forest clearing and bring your padded undies, because today's challenge is a butt kicker! Whoa! Uh, hey, Gwen! Oh, how was your night on Booby Island? Not bad, actually. A woolly beaver tried to eat me, so I climbed a tree to the top and slept in the canopy. Fell asleep looking at the stars. Wow. Yeah, what a nightmare. Luckily, Gwen is super smart and totally strong, so she lived to tell the tale. Well, welcome back, Gwen. Welcome back, Gwen. What? Nothing. I was just noticing that cutthroat vibe Zoe has about her. So two-faced. We should shun her. Um, are you still mad at me for all the kissing I did? Because like I said before, Scott was an accident and Cameron kissed me. I'm not mad at you. I just hope your head is still Are in the game. You? Don't worry. Oh. My head is totally in the game. So you still want to go all the way to the finale with me? Gwen, I promise. It's you and me right to the end. Gwen is great. But if you ask me, winning is everything. This is the farthest I've ever made it on Total Drama, and I am going all the way. Scott 
is sweet on me, for obvious reasons. So I'm keeping him around to the end since he'll probably let me win, which means Gwen goes second last, and Zoe has to go, like, now. The only wild card is Mike, but I'm pretty sure I can crush him. <sighs> Making a chart always helps clarify things nicely. Hey, hey Courtney. You're looking really, uh, goop. Uh, good. <laughs> I mean, you know, guys. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Yeah, anytime. And, uh, hey, if you need help lifting anything, just let me know. <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff. Arms like a cheetah. I know, right? <laughs> this is great. Courtney and I are back to being friends. Can sure, it's taken a while for her to trust me again, mm -hmm. but it was worth it. Hope you two got me. lots of sleep, because I'm feeling, feeling as strong as an ox. Oh, Don't you mean strong as a rat? Oh, oh you haven't seen Courtney's chart. Huh? <gasps> what chart? This one. Huh? Great plan, by the way. Not how I want it to go down, but still. Second last, right to the end. And my butt. I can explain. You gave me a tail? Wow. Wait. Oh, please. Even you can't talk your way out of this one. <laughs> Sensitive much? Courtney was only pretending to be my friend? Ugh. How did I not see that? She's going down. A tail. And it's pointed like a rat tail. I will never forgive her for this. Never. Not unless she really, really wants me to. Thanks, Mike. But I am not getting flushed down that giant toilet. I mean, it sort of suits the others. But I am not a giant toilet swimming kind of girl. Behold, my sad, skinny interns. Oh. I totally forgot to feed them this week. <laughs> I know. Funny, right? So, today's challenge is a race to make a delicious sundae and serve it up to good old what's his name and who's it over here. Woo! Yes! I know my sundaes. I worked at an ice cream shop for three weeks. Then I got fired for flinging a scoop of raspberry squirrel at a customer. But she started it with all her, excuse me, excuse me. I was on my break. So, to make this fun, for me, you'll have to travel to the most dangerous areas on the island to procure the ingredients of this dessert. Your ice cream awaits at the top of the diving cliff, which the ice machine has been making nice and slippery all week. The maraschino cherries are perched on a rock in the swamp. You'll find crushed peanuts in the old cafeteria, and the final ingredient, chocolate sauce, can be found in a pool surrounding a recently planted mutant fire flower. You're sick, uh -huh. McLean. What can I say? Prison changed me. For the better. <laughs> uh -huh. The first person to have their Sunday completely consumed by the interns wins. La. On your La. marks. La. 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 What are you waiting?